This is so much better with armor. One of the biggest benefits of being a part of a big TV show or movie and having a role that you're praised for is that you'll get opportunities to go and do things outside of the show you got famous for, which is exactly what has happened to many of the cast of Stranger Things. But arguably the biggest star of the bunch is Millie Bobby Brown, who came to our computer screens as Eleven, and her star has taken off ever since. She's been in all sorts of things, and now she's set up for even more success. So allow us to show you upcoming Millie Bobby Brown movies and TV, what's ahead for the Stranger Things star. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Eight, more Stranger Things. <laughs> Let's start off with the obvious one, shall we? Thanks to the pandemic, Stranger Things Season 4 was delayed, but now things have turned around enough so that filming can continue. Thank God. And what's more, the showrunners of Stranger Things have basically confirmed that Season 5 is going to happen. So thus, we'll be seeing more of Millie as Eleven. Which is good, because if you recall, there's a lot going on with her character. Key among them is that after the events of Season 3, Millie was basically adopted by the buyers after the quote-unquote death of Chief Hopper. She's now separated from her true friends and in a new situation. Plus, her powers aren't around like they used to be, leaving many to wonder if she's going to go and get them back or be forced to try and be normal. Not to mention, Hopper is alive. So we can all bet that if slash when she finds out about that, she'll go and stage a rescue mission. So when you compile all that together, you get a lot of stories that need to be told, and it's a good thing she'll be around to tell them all. Seven, Godzilla vs. Kong. Godzilla in the United States is a very curious thing because people have a picture of what the legendary king of the monsters needs to be and how the movie should play out. The more recent Godzilla movie served as a reboot and proved that America could get it right, and then they tried to expand it with Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which of course had Millie Bobby Brown in it as one of the main characters. Despite it having a rather divisive reception, it did make a profit and its sequel will be the showdown of the century via Godzilla vs. Kong. These two monsters have done battle on screen before, but not in a way that's been interpreted in decades, and it was infinitely cheesy when it first happened. Just saying. Now, obviously these two titans are going to be the focus of the film, but Millie will be there as well. So it'll be curious to see how it all plays out for her and the film when it releases next year. Hopefully. Seriously, we don't know when theaters will be opening up, so all we can do is hope. 6. Enola Holmes 2? <laughs> we'll be honest, we're not sure if this one is happening, but it's more than likely a certainty. Millie was recently the star in the film Enola Holmes, which was a story made by an American right about the sister of the legendary detective Sherlock Holmes. The first film established Enola and her relationship with her two brothers and solved the mystery of what happened to their mother. Many critics and fans praised the film and Millie's performance in it, and as such, many people are expecting a sequel. Which isn't too surprising per se, since Netflix is big on wanting to make franchises in both the movie and TV sense. Not to mention Sherlock Holmes is a big property and has been used many times over the years to great success. Given that this is a newer take on the Legendary series, it's not too much of a stretch to believe that Netflix would try and make it work to their advantage. 5. Damsel On the heels of the success of Enola Holmes, Netflix has already scooped up Millie Bobby Brown for another film, and this one is called Damsel. In addition to playing Damsel's lead character, Millie Bobby Brown will also executive produce the movie. The actress already has some producing experience under her belt thanks to Enola Holmes. Along with Brown, Damsel has brought aboard 28 Weeks Later's Juan Carlos Fresnadillo to direct and Wrath of the Titans Dan Mazzo to write the screenplay. Joe Roth and Jeff Kirschenbaum will produce, and Mazzo, Zach Roth, and Chris Castaldi will executive produce alongside Brown. Although Netflix didn't provide any official plot details about Damsel, Deadline reports that this fantasy movie will see Millie Bobby Brown playing Princess Elodie, who initially believes she's being married off to Prince Henry from a rival kingdom, but discovers that she's actually being sacrificed to a dragon. <laughs> so yeah, 
Sounds fun, right? Well, this will definitely be a different kind of film from Millie, but she's definitely proven to be up to the challenge of tackling all sorts of stories and characters. Plus, it shows just how much confidence Netflix has in her that they keep casting her in their original movies. Which brings us to... 4. The Girls I've Been Deadline reported that Brown would be bringing the book The Girls I've Been, main character Nora O'Malley to life on the streaming service at some point in the near future. In the book, which is set to be released in early 2021, Nora is portrayed as a successful con artist, which appears to be the family business, who must use her experience and skills in persuasion and impersonation to find a way out of hostage situation alongside her girlfriend and ex-boyfriend. There's no word on who will be appearing alongside Millie Bobby Brown in The Girls I've Been, but Jason Bateman and his aggregate films production company are set to produce the Netflix film. We'll likely be hearing more about this film in the near future, so just stay tuned until then. 3. The Thing About Jellyfish The Girls I've Been isn't the only book adaptation that's coming down the pike for Millie Bobby Brown, as the Stranger Things star is also set to appear in an upcoming movie based on the critically acclaimed 2015 young adult novel The Thing About Jellyfish by Ali Benjamin. The casting was revealed by The Hollywood Reporter back in March 2019 when it was also announced that Kenyan filmmaker Wanuri Kahiu would be sitting in the director's chair. According to that report, Brown will be playing the book's main character, Susie, a young girl heartbroken by the drowning of her best friend who seeks out to prove that the death was caused by a rare jellyfish sting. By diving into a personal world built by her own imagination, Susie explores life, death, hope, and friendship, which again shows the range and ability of Millie to be attached to such a film. The adaptation of The Thing About Jellyfish has been in the works since around the time of the book's 2015 release, and is being produced by a group that includes Reese Witherspoon for a release through Universal Pictures. Though things might have slowed down a bit for the film as the pandemic shut down a lot of filming, but if things clear up, we could also hear about this film soon as well. 2. Power Rangers? Oh, this is so much better with armor! This one is a rumor made by a very less than reputable source, but let's run with it anyway, shall we? So you might recall the Power Rangers had a movie come out back in 2017, and it did decently and reworked the Power Rangers lore in a more modern age. But it just didn't land enough to warrant a sequel. So Paramount and Hasbro, who owns the right to the franchise, are going full reboot with the series once again and are aiming to make both a movie and a connecting TV series about it. We already know the screenwriter for it via Brian Edward Hill, a respected writer of various media, and reports are already swarming about who might be in the film which, yes, includes Millie Bobby Brown. While this is once again just a rumor, it does make sense because she's a major star, and by the time this film will come out, the various hype around her shows and films will be at an all-time high. And ironically, the biggest name attached to the last film was Bryan Cranston as Zordon. So perhaps bringing a big-name actress into the mix right away might help make the movie a bigger success. 1. More projects to come Given all the projects we've shown you, and the talent that Millie Bobby Brown is going to have plenty more projects coming as time goes on, especially as things like Stranger Things end, which is likely with season 5, and her schedule gets even more cleared up. She's got all the talent, she's got all the hype, the only question is, what project will come next? So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Millie Bobby Brown and how she's aiming to do even more TV shows and films as her star continues to shine? Which of these roles are you personally excited for? Which ones do you feel will be very beneficial to her career? Do you think there are other roles that she should try and pursue? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.